the perfect example of a brilliant short that only equals a partially brilliant movie. <laughs> Hi everyone, or not even that brilliant. Hi everyone, uh, it's me, Grant the Movie and TV Guy. I know this review's late, um, as well as the other review. We'll get to that tonight as well. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, we have it now, and so let's talk about it. Um, I'm Grant the Movie and TV Guy. Welcome to Raise the Popcorn with Grant. We're here to talk about a movie. Uh, movies and TV, that's uh, what we do here. And we are talking about, today, we are talking about The Drop. No, not the terrific James Gandolfini, Tom Hardy crime thriller. Uh, this, The Drop, is directed by uh, Sarah Adina Smith. And it is co-written by Joshua Leonard, who is also in the film. He also was um, very prominently featured in uh, The Blair Witch Project, and as well as working in the Mumblecore independent film industry, which this film is very much a part of. So what is The Drop about? Um, it's streaming on Hulu first off. What's the film about? Who else is involved? Um, the film stars Anna Conkle and Jer Jermaine Fowler, both very funny uh, comedic actors. They play Lex and Manny. They are a couple um, who are thinking about having a kid. And um, wouldn't you know it, um, they are um, headed off to the destination wedding of uh, mutual friends. Um one of the the two brides who are getting married uh, to one another is uh, the former girlfriend of Lex. And so she has tasked her to uh, help them write the vows. And also, um, the happy couple has a baby. Oh, joy. But uh, when she gets this moment to hold the baby, uh, things go wrong. Maybe there was a bee involved maybe there wasn't uh she drops the baby that's where the drop comes in and uh the baby's fine but everyone has now turned on lex and that's kind of the movie <laughs> um from there it's sort of the fallout of that event uh let the awkward uh dark humor begin uh so i don't know if there's much to say about the drop other than that uh i think the initial concept in a twisted way is very funny I think that um, there are individual pockets of genuine, brilliant, funny moments in this. There's also some moments of genuine insight into uh, the sort of tenuous nature of millennial friendships and um, sort of unlikability and also this idea of um, how one big mistake can basically turn you into a social pariah. All very interesting ideas. And the drop just does not work. I do not think this film comes together. I don't think it's a terrible film, but I don't think it's a very a, a terrific film. I think, though, it could have made a really terrific short. Like, as a 15-minute short that I would that would show at Sundance, or maybe be on Funny or Die, or on Adult Swim even, this would be genius. But at 92 minutes, almost 93 minutes, it just doesn't hold water. It doesn't hold water. It's Now, mind you, many who like this film, and there are people who like this film, are going to argue, but Grant, it's Mumblecore. It's not supposed to have a plot. I'm aware. And I love Mumblecore. I think that when it really hits... I Anyone knows this knows that plot and narrative do not necessarily have to be a prerequisite to enjoying a film, especially a comedy, because comedies more often than not are a string of jokes that are tied to a to a very loose tether. I understand this. I think that there was a universe where the drop could have worked even with its thin basis. But it just doesn't. Because the way that it's done is, it sort of goes like this. 15 minutes, dead air. Surprisingly funny joke or moment of insight. 15 minutes, dead air. Surprising moment of insight. 15 minutes more of dead air. Insight, 15 minutes of dead air, credits. And that just doesn't work in a, in a comedy. Even a very dark, cringe comedy. This is clearly going for like a Seinfeld, Curb Your Enthusiasm thing, or something along the lines of other mumblecore, uh, you know, sort of comedy dramas that heavily improvise. You can tell this very much was. Let's visit it. The Duplass brothers are producers on this film. But unlike some other recent efforts or semi or, or other efforts like this that have be been more polarized 
than this that I've liked, like The Bronze or a uh, Spin Me Round or something like that. I feel like those movies have enough consistency in the in the weird universe that they operate in and in the dynamics of the characters that even when there's moments that are meant to be more awkward than funny, they kind of work because the the characters' individual quirks and the world that they inhabit is so is so layered and interesting and, and offbeat that I kind of give it a pass. But in this one, everything is so normal except the inciting incident. So you're just kind of sitting there in kind of wondering where the laughs are supposed to be. Even the awkward laughs. Even the laughs that are meant to make you kind of... Even in like the Scott's Tots office sense where it's like... Where you don't know if you should laugh or be like or just want to jump off a bridge. <laughs> like, there's not really that kind of quality here. It just feels very much like, yeah, she drops the baby and everyone hates her. The end. There's no... There's no... They don't really get a lot of mileage out of it. Now, there is one thing I have to point out, and then we're going to end this because I really... This does not need to be a long review. One actor who I really want to call out as being a particular... In fact, a lot of... The, about three of the four kind of big laughs in the movie come from him is a young actor named Alicia Henning. Hennig, I believe... I hope I'm pronouncing your name, uh, young sir. You're funny. This kid is really funny. Uh, he plays sort of um, two of the friends who are like, I guess, actors. It's their son, and he's like one of those um, YouTube influencers who's abs who's like very pro abstinence, but it's like abstinence including even masturbation. Like his catchphrase is something like a uh, "save come for courtship" or something like that. And it, the and he's clearly like very repressed and very horny, and he's only around grown adults, and he doesn't know how to deal with it. So he's like asking one of the guests, who's like his former babysitter, to remind him of <laughs> cleaning hot macaroni and cheese off of his lap when he was a kid <laughs> to make him like he's like an eighteen, nineteen year old kid or something, and he's <laughs> just I found that kind of darkly funny. And that kid was funny because he just constantly, like, would be asking people these really sexual questions because he clearly was extremely repressed. And I found that kind of darkly funny in a messed up sort of way. Um, and then every once in a while there would be uh, some moment of sort of lovable awkwardness. Jillian Bell's also in this and she gets some funny moments. But yeah, it just kind of sits like a log, man. It's like, I feel like this premise could have been even as a feature done better, but I just, again, this is a 15 minute short, real, real cut down to the essence of what it is. This could have really worked, but 92 minutes, there's just not a whole movie here, guys. There's just not. And, but I'm not going to go under it. I would give this maybe, I still think it is worth watching for the things that work, but at the same time, I'm not going to give it a matinee, but I'm also not going to give it sort of a negative score. I'll meet in the middle. I'll, I'm going to give, Let's just end it here. I'm going to give the drop two and a half out of five stars. Right in the middle. Uh, it, it Half works, half doesn't. I, just, I feel genuinely... And I'm being kind of generous. I think really more it's like a quarter of it works and three quarters of it doesn't. But I'm going to give it that kind of thing because I think that there are individual moments or almost like rental or even better, like when some of the clips end up on YouTube, watch the, the funny parts. Like watch the stuff, uh, the Alicia Henning scenes and maybe the initial incident. But yeah, this is a this is a disappointment um, from some very talented people, including the Duplass brothers. I like those guys. Um, all right, uh, we will. Um, that is it. Um, that is it. Also, the ending is like it ends on a really lame joke too. I have to say, also, that's just not very funny. Um, anyway, <laughs> and then just kind of stops. So yeah, it was a weird movie. All right, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, trailer Trash, none. Watch on Hulu. Was there trauma? No, there was not. All right. We will be back later today for my review of the slasher film Sick, uh, which is written by Kevin Williamson. Hell yeah, I love Kevin Williamson. Big Dawson's Creek and Scream fans, so I'm looking forward to that one. Um, we also have uh, reviews coming up this weekend for um, Missing, which we'll be seeing tomorrow. Um, we will have a review of That Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime the movie Scarlet Bond on Friday. We'll also have uh, reviews coming up on the horizon for Infinity Pool, um, a, a movie that I barely heard anything about called Maybe I Do, 
um, which has a pretty great cast as that's coming out. Um, we'll also have reviews on the horizon for uh, Teen Wolf the Movie, Shotgun Wedding. Um, what was the other one? Shotgun Wedding and a You People, which is the new film on Netflix with Jonah Hill and Eddie Murphy. Um, and then also we are going to Sundance and we will eventually have a big super duper video of my coverage and individual reviews when they get closer to release. I'm seeing a few films. Can't wait to see it uh, next weekend. Um, and, uh, more to come. That'll all be next time. And until next time, I'm Grant the Movie and TV Guy. I see it all. I'm happy to share it with you. I love you all. I appreciate you all. I love you classes missed. I love you 3000. Be kind to one another. Uh, if you like this video, give it a like if you wanna. Give it a subscribe if you wanna. Give it the bell. I don't know what it does, but that's what you're supposed to do. Or so I've been told. Uh, leave a comment if you have to take Grant I like waffles. It really helps out. Um, want to find me also reviews lists and other fun stuff, you can check me out on Letterboxd.com at Raised on Popcorn with Grant. Twitter, I'm at Raised Grant. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, Raised on Popcorn with Grant. Uh, serialized, I'm all one word, all over case, Raised on Popcorn. Uh, check out my podcast, Raised on Popcorn with Grant, the podcast on Spotify and Anchor. Uh, some of you already have, but even if you haven't, take care of yourself, take care of your mental health. It's incredibly important, and I want to know down below, what did you think of The Drop? Did you like the movie? Did you hate the movie? Think my opinion's good? Think I'm full of shit? Comment below, let me know. And until we meet again, we we're all raised on popcorn. Make my other extra butter. Catch you guys next time. Oh, wait a second. We might also have a review of that season one of that 90s show. If I feel like I have something to say. I'm going to watch it for sure. If not, I'll do individual episode scores on Serialized. Alright. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, we're all raised on popcorn. Make my other extra butter. Catch you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>